hello students with the continuation of first video we have seen this part about calorific value of the fuel sample and their types nothing but the hcv and lcv so we have to discuss further part about this so why gcv is high or gcv is called as a higher calorific value because in gcv as the products of combustion are cooled down to the room temperature steam gets condensed into water and latent heat is evolved means that during condensation of steam into water some amount of heat energy is get liberated that nothing but the latent heat and this latent heat is included in the measured heat because of that gross calorific value is called as a higher calorific value next why ncv is low or we can say why ncv is called as a lcv because in ncv the products of combustion are allowed to escape the water vapors do not condense the and escape with hot combustion gases hence lesser amount than gross calorific value is available it is also known as a lower calorific value we can have the formula for lcv is equal to hc minus latent heat of water vapors formed that means if you subtract the amount of heat liberated by cooling of combustion products from hcv we can get the value of lcv here during the combustion of fuel sample given fuel sample the hydrogen from fuel sample combines with the oxygen from the fuel sample or from the atmosphere formation of water vapors okay if you co collect that water vapors and condense them the latent heat is get evolved here one part of hydrogen combines with the eight parts of oxygen formation of nine parts of water vapors by weight by cooling of these water vapors we can see here uh, we can get here latent heat of water vapors by combustion of 1 gram of fuel sample water formed by combustion of 1 gram of fuel sample is equal to 18 by 2 into h by 100 here h is nothing but the percentage of hydrogen from given fuel sample a normal range of hydrogen from the fuel sample is 5 to 7 percent depends upon that water vapors are get formed during combustion of fuel sample so means that the combustion of 1 gram of fuel sample we can get we can get this much amount of water vapors formed if you cool them or condense them this much amount of latent heat is get evolved means that the latent heat of water vapor formed is equal to 0.09 into h into 587 calorie per gram here 587 calorie per gram is the standard value of latent heat of 1 gram of water vapors if you subtract this value from gcv or from hcv we can get the value of ncv ncv is equal to gcv minus 0.09 into h into 587 calorie per gram next point which is very much important that is characteristics of good fuel or criteria for selection of good fuel or properties of the good fuel we have to see here total 10 characteristics of good fuel during the selection of good fuel what point should we should check during selection nothing but the criteria for selection of good fuel number 1 is the calorific value the good fuel should have high calorific value so that it can produce the large amount of heat energy during burning so that it can attain the high temperature when it required means that good fuel is that which is having high calorific value nothing but the good fuel point number 2 is the cheap means that the good fuel is that which is easily available in the market 
in bulk and in the low cost nothing but the good fill point number 3 is the ignition temperature the ignition temperature of fuel is nothing but it's the lowest temperature at which fuel starts burn smoothly and that should be moderate should not be low should not be high if the ignition temperature of the fuel sample is very low the fuel can catches the fire easily it can dangerous for storage and transportation of fuel because of that the ignition temperature should not be low if the ignition temperature is very high it causes the difficulty in the burning so a good fuel should have moderate ignition temperature should not be low should not be high point number 4 uh, every kind of fuel is having some moisture content the good fuel is that which is having very very low moisture content because the moisture content can reduces the calorific value of the or we can say heating value of the fuel sample because of that the good fuel should have low moisture content point of fifth moderate rate of combustion rate of combustion is the velocity with which the fuel burn continuously or we can say smoothly the temperature of combustion of fuel depends upon the rate of combustion if the rate of combustion is low then required high temperature may not be reached soon on the other hand if the too high combustion rate causes the high temperature very quickly high temperature very quickly because of that the rate of combustion should not be low should not be high that should be moderate so that fuel can burn with uniform rate next point non combustible matter content every kind of or we can say especially for solid fuels after burning of solid fuels we can get some kind of ash or some kind of clinkers nothing but the non combustible matter the good fuel should have low contents of non combustible material because ash contain or clinkers can reduces the calorific value or we can say uh, heating value of the fuel sample because of that the good fuel is that which is having very very low amount of non combustible matter point number 7 controllable combustion the combustion of fuel should be easy to start or easy to stop when we required combustion of fuel should not should be non spontaneous otherwise it can causes the fire hazards means that the good fuel is that which is uh, easy for burning we can stop the burning when we uh, required we can start the burning when we required means that uh, the combustion of fuel should be controllable nothing but the good fuel next the purpose of combustion should not be harmful Uh, during the combustion of any kind of fuel that may be solid or that may be liquid or that may be gases fuels some kind of polluted gases like co so2 s2s uh, co2 are get evolved in the atmosphere that can cause the air pollution means that on burning fuel should not give out objectionable poisonous gases in other words gases products should not be pollute the atmosphere gases like co so2 sts co2 are some harmful gases means that the good fuel is that which is having which is giving very very less percentage of the uh, polluted gases during the burning last two points number 9 easy for uh, transportation and storage the good fuel should be easy to handle easy for transport easy for uh, storage at low cost which require less space for storage there is no risk in storage and handling that is nothing but the good fuel means a good fuel should be easy for handling easy for storage and easy for uh, we can say transportation point number 
uniform size especially for solid fuels the size should be uniform so that rate of combustion can be controllable because of that the good fuel good solid fuel is that which is having uniform size so let us have short quiz on criteria of selection of good fuel or we can say characteristics of good fuel number 1 the calorific value of the fuel should be high for good fuel moisture content should be low in the good fuel the relative cost and availability is low the cost of the fuel should be low then nothing but the good fuel the the ignition temperature should be moderate should not be low should not be high again velocity of combustion or we can say rate of combustion should be moderate should not be low should not be high non combustible matter should be low in the good fuel the combustion of good fuel should be controllable which is easily stop easily uh, we can say start the products of combustion should not be harmful transport and storage should be easy and size should be uniform next let us discuss few mcq uh, from uh, for this part good fuel purges we are having four options answer is both b and c means that good fuel purges moderate ignition temperature and high calorific value an example of primary fuel from these four options is c natural gas the minimum temperature at which substance ignites and burns without further addition of heat from outside is called as a ignition temperature option number a in a good fuel percentage of carbon is high combustion of fuel involves chemical reaction between fuel and we are having four options answer is oxygen c and the reaction in which heat is absorbed is called as a endothermic reaction option b fuel can define as a substance which produces heat by combustion process option a the combustion reaction c plus o2 gives co2 is a exothermic reaction good fuel should have following characteristics number 1 moderate ignition temperature number 2 uh, we can say b high calorific value c low moisture content all of these answer is all of these okay we'll discuss next part of the topic in coming videos thank you